Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is September 17th, 2017, and we are working on a new project. So recently I just cleared my tent, and there's a bunch of space to grow other things. And I found this at one of the supermarket, and I've been looking for this for a while, and so uh, I'm very excited to grow these. So we're going to do this hydroponically. These are Celtus lettuce, and they are very nice and crispy lettuce that you can use the leaves as well as the the stems so um, uh, they can grow quite large so we don't need too many what we're gonna do first is start some seeds and then once the seeds sprouted I'm gonna show you what to do next to start seeds it's very simple we're going to use Rockwell cubes uh, I got these on Amazon I will provide those links so that you can check them out if you want to buy the same exact cubes and all you need is just plain water right out of a faucet and what we're gonna do first is soak these cubes and allow it to soak in water okay so just let it sit there for a second a few seconds and allow it to soak up the water as much as it can hold and in the meantime we'll cut this open and then take the seeds out okay so here is what the seeds look like they're very tiny they look very much like lettuce seeds so you only need two or three per cell just in case one of them or two of them won't sprout so now that the cubes has soaked up enough water we are going to pour this out so just pour back into your container then we are going to use a spoon I'm just gonna you know open up this little opening here so that to allow seeds to get in there easily and we're gonna grab a few seeds to put on each of those that's pretty much all you need two or three seeds per little pocket there is fine we're just gonna close this up a little bit you don't have to you don't want to and if you see one that's outside just push it in okay and that should be good enough and now what you want to do is put it in a spot where there's plenty of light and what I'm going to use is the arrow garden here and I'm just going to place this like squeeze this in somehow these peppers have really large leaves <laughs> something like that that should be good enough or you have another spot that has really good light that should work too but the important is lighting as soon as the seeds sprout you want them to have as much light as possible because if you don't then they'll grow very leggy so I have a video on the proper way to start seeds. Uh, you can search my channel and or I'll link to you uh, to the in the description below so you can check it out. All right, that's all for now. We'll come back soon. All right, guys, it has been 20 days now, and the Celtis lettuce are ready to be transplanted. So I have decided to move one of the plant into an older air garden unit. And then the rest, I might just plant it outside. So we'll take one of these here and put it here. Okay, we're ready to transplant that into here. And the beauty about the Aragorn unit is that you can just take it apart and then move it around and then put it back whenever. Pretty easy. That's why it's very fun to mess around with. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to use... Dino Grow. Uh, I like using Dino Grow because it is a liquid uh, nutrient, and w for for systems like these, you want to use liquid nutrients because it doesn't um, it dissolve already. It's already in a liquid form, and it it easy flows around, and it doesn't get the you know the like the the air tube stuck and all that stuff. Uh, if you use the water soluble. Um, solutions or what you have to mix water into and make it dissolve then they always have uh, bits and pieces left behind and that may clog things up um, but for like cracky method or DWC where there's no anything um, 
that is a, a working uh, machine, then that that'd be just fine to use the the water soluble type. So anyway, I got water here right out of my faucet, and I'm gonna fill this up. And we're gonna make this simple. We're just gonna add nutrients, and that's it. No need to uh, measure pH or anything like that. So what I need to do is make sure that the liquid touches the bottom of my net cup or somewhat touches it because right now the plants doesn't have any roots exposed so it can't get to the water so you want it to to touch slightly that touches it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this one right here and then because the net cup is slightly smaller than the cubes that I'm using what I'm gonna do is try to fit it in here by removing some of it uh, just try not to mess with the roots and then that should be okay okay and then you push this down like so all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add five milliliter of this because that there is one gallon. So make sure it's nice and clean. All right, that is it. Now we're going to put this back into the system and we're all set all right guys here it is this is where the unit is gonna sit and as you can see the light hood is as close as possible that's the lowest it will go and these older units uses a fluorescent light so they're a little bit weak so you want it to be as close as possible to the plant so um, it's gonna sit right here so I will come back once there is progress and I will update you guys all right guys it has been 12 days since the transplant and the Celtis lettuce is doing great so the total time has been 32 days now and I'm very surprised how slow these lettuce grow because 32 days uh, normal lettuce you should already get a really big head of lettuce to use but these guys are pretty slow but I mean there's really no maintenance to this I just left it here the lights turn on and off automatically and uh, the nutrients is still at the same level and hasn't changed too much and then the roots are coming out nicely so uh, I'm gonna keep letting it grow some more and then come back and update you guys once I get the Celtis lettuce to have some nice stem because that's what these are good for so we will be back soon. All right guys, today has been 17 days since the plant's been in this unit and the total time has been 37 days so far. And as you can see, some of the leaves are starting to kind of like fall over and growing outside of the unit. And it seems that these older fluorescent unit, the lights are not strong enough so the plant doesn't grow as well as it should. But it's doing okay at overall so today what we're gonna do is cut some of these leaves off because Celtis lettuce uh, the main part that is good um, that we actually want is the stem part okay we just cut all of the leaves off and this is how much is left and it just seems that the light in this unit is wearing out so it's not gonna do well for the plant so I've decided to actually take it out of the system and move it outside so let's take the plant out and then we're gonna move it outside and plant it in soil you just lift up the thing here 
And then we're just going to pull this out. Okay, here's where we're gonna put it. There's the other two that we started at the same time in uh, in those rock wool cubes, and then uh, we placed this in the hydro system. And those I moved outside. So today we're gonna move this out and have them uh, all be planted right there. So because these are stuck in here like so, we need to remove that out of here. And as you can see, the roots are all over the place. So what we need to do is gently remove this thing here out and try not to damage too many roots. But if you damage a few, it's fine. Um, the rest will still be okay. So there it is. I did cut a few roots off, but as long as the majority of them are okay, then the plant will still grow. So we're gonna place it right there. So let's. Let me do this real quick. Okay, we are done now. So you just want a nice thorough water because the roots were in liquid so it needs to, uh, to be adjusted so the first time you need to water thoroughly and then it, in a few days uh, the plant will start to get adjusted and put out soil roots and then they'll be fine that's all for now we'll come back soon and I will update you on progress alright guys it has been exactly five weeks since I moved that hydroponic plant outside into my raised bed and it is doing fantastic there is a lot of growth there um, I mean for five weeks it doesn't grow as fast as uh, you would think in hydroponic but that's just how soil grow but um, maintenance free I haven't done much to this plant all I did was give water when the soil is dry uh, I used the fish emulsion to give it some fertilizer and that was it uh, I think I did that twice in the five weeks and there it is here is the entire bed these two were also uh, f grown in rock wool cubes that I started all of these plants together and uh, that one was sitting in the arrow garden when I cut the leaves down and then it, it was just not doing well because the arrow garden didn't have enough light for the plant to grow so I moved it outside and that's the, the same one there so everything in this raised bed is looking good um, so uh, you can take your plants from a hydroponic and place them in soil they'll do just fine you just need to condition the roots for the first few days and still until they establish themselves and then they're on their own so there you have it guys that is all for this video I hope you enjoy the experiment and if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching